Arkansas controls the tip. The question without Zepp Jasper. Here's Wendell Green blocked by Note. Thought he had him beat. Arkansas takes a lot of charges, so the guards don't want to get too deep. Yeah, that's a great point. He stops and pops, but Note doesn't give up on the play. Great recovery by one. Help the home team at times. It can help the away team also, especially a number one team in Auburn that's been a little sluggish lately. No tail around the shot blocker. <laughs> Both teams had a five nothing run. Katie Johnson left his feet and turned it over. Tony running and slamming. the extent of it. Shot clock will be in single digits. Hogs length bothering Katie Johnson. And a foul on the rebound charge to Jalen Williams. And here's Williams. He's just going to sweep it through baseline. And Flanagan's thinking he's just going to be a spot up three point shooter. You got to be ready to play it on the top. His dad and his uncle. Both played in the SEC. Dan, assistant coach for Auburn. Katie Johnson out of control. Offensive foul. Well, that's what Jalen Williams does better than anybody in the country. Moves his feet. Has incredible defensive spacing, instincts, and timing. And there he is. Team best 33rd charge taken by Williams this season. Rematch. Last time they faced double overtime. Purdue victory. Kofi Kerburn stay out of foul trouble this time. Could be a different story. Wendell Green has not been able to shake anybody. Here's Kessler. Steps through, left hand. That's terrific defense by Williams, just building a wall, making him turn to his offhand over the wrong shoulder. Note splits him and finishes. Largest lead of the game for the Hogs. J.D. Note tied for the lead league in scoring. Has another! <laughs> Timeout, Auburn! One by just two. Road games have been tough sledding for the number one ranked Tigers the last couple. Flanagan, we got a foul, and an offensive foul in his second. The physicality of this game is extremely high, and it's with the ball pressure, the denials. I mean, they are in guys' jerseys right now, and good call. I mean, Flanagan leans into him, forces Note off. I mean, this kid, Note, is known as the best scorer in the league, but doesn't get enough credit for his defense, not just his steals, but the way he can lock up the other team's best. Uh, it, it impedes the, uh, the driver for sure. Hey. It's hard to commit a foul while wearing a suit. Note almost in double figures. Throw different things at them. They're going to take shots, so we want to put them in the most uncomfortable position to take those shots. They've been doing a good job of that so far today. After the green turnover, Razorbacks holding on to a six-point lead. They've led by as many as 12. Note, ball fake at the foul. On uh, Chris Moore's hot the map. Moore's been super aggressive. I mean, he, he's reaching, he's swiping in that time. There's a tobacco road to take on the Tar Heels. Note's got double figures. In the corner where you got your best three point shooter on the team spotted up. Note down the lane. <laughs> Follow jam won't count. Alyssa was inside. We talked so much during shoot around today about being so much putting so much pressure on this Auburn team defensively. He said, You don't give them more than a half a step. I don't know if Devin Cambridge throwing up a three early in the possession is what Auburn needed. Here's Note working on Jabari Smith, who's got three. And you can see how Kessler impacts every shot in the paint and outside of it leads the nation he blocks 19 percent of opponents two-point field goal attempts 
Just great penetration, not once but twice by JD Note. Anywhere. That'll be a fun one. Assuming Nate Oates team can find its shooting touch. Jabari Smith, three fouls. And a place as loud as the jungle is. Played in the Carolina Duke rivalry last year a couple of times, but that was in front of nearly empty gyms. Oh, wide open, Note. After the slip by Cambridge, and that cost Auburn a bucket. Great three by Likes. Defender falls on the flop. Note open for two. Recall for Auburn. And that's what can happen when you take a contested, ill-advised jumper. The rest of your teammates aren't ready to get back. Note with the layup. Game high 17 for the Arkansas Star. Back out there at the under eight. Yeah, that's a great point. They bought time. J.D. Note floater. Mismatch going against Kessler. Got into him and shared it. And a foul. On these Tony, he's got 10. And he's going to the line. I think Wendell Green was concerned with the mismatch. He gets caught ball watching. Injected by Kessler. Block number six. Right back to Note. And this time he kicks it out. Shovel pass intercepted. Katie Johnson off to the races. And it'll be a foul on Arkansas. And Amude's second. The outstanding rim protection of Auburn. I mean, you go in, and just when you think it's just Jabari Smith, you got to get by. Here comes Walker Kessler. I'm not sure there was a foul there. I didn't like the call. KD Johnson initiated all that contact, and this is just pro stuff right here. This is why scouts are salivating over Jabari Smith. Katie Jackson only has two points this game, coming off of 20 against his former team, Georgia. Never had a shot. Katie Johnson just hasn't looked like himself tonight. Uh, he hadn't. He hadn't been able to get that extra pop. I think he's played hard, but he just hadn't been able to. He's an emotional player. When he can't get a couple to fall, you don't see that passion, emotion, and personality come out quite as much. 0 for 2 from the line. And he's got to be careful now because it's about to be negative emotion. He's frustrated with himself, untucking his jersey. Got to stay disciplined and solid on D. In Auburn history, Note working on him. Bruce Pearl doesn't mind this matchup, he told us. Note doesn't mind it either. He's got 20. Jabari Smith. Jalen Williams, the rebound. Two minutes to play in overtime. Katie Johnson has it altered. And a shot to the face for Jalen Williams, inadvertent. To second on Katie Johnson. Katie Johnson loves to seek the contact at the rim. Bruce Pearl livid that they don't get the whistle there. Felt like the hand came down. Ref saw it otherwise, and Jalen Williams corrals the rebound. Frustrating night for KD Johnson. Talking some trash to Jalen Williams as Williams approaches the line. Last game, they took some quick shots and got away with it against Mississippi State. Must says, no, 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 we've learned from that. Take some clock. Note drives down the lane. Short Williams on it. But a foul and no basket on the JD Note drive. JD Note recruited out of Jacksonville University by Eric Musselman. <laughs> Brought him the best score in the SEC. 28 tonight for Note. Number one on the ropes, a minute to play. Katie Johnson, no. Loose ball controlled by Note. There is a foul and an over the back, and it's Kessler's fifth. We've talked about that. 
One-on-one, Devin Cambridge, his first free throw attempt of the night. Tony tracks it down. Arkansas, five. Note will keep the ball in his hands. He's running circles. Auburn can't foul him. And now Katie Johnson gets in on Jalen Williams. Arkansas on a 6 nothing run here in overtime. Auburn hasn't scored in the last two minutes. Note, 10 of 13 from the line tonight. Huge. The lead is four. Number one Auburn with 10 seconds left. Here's Green off the mark. Loose ball controlled by the Hogs with two seconds left. And this will finish it in style. And a number one court storming at Bud Walton.